If you had told me four months ago that every bar and restaurant in America would be closed for two to three or more months, I wouldn't have believed you. The coronavirus has impacted our business quite significantly. We previously would sell all of our beer here at the brewery in pint glasses and at bars and restaurants. Our old model of selling it draft beer only is not a feasible one. We pivoted to 16 ounce cans, a tall boy can, and then we really had to lean on a company called American Canning to help facilitate all that. As these little businesses got word that they were effectively going to have their tap rooms, bars, anything that involved people coming into their establishments shut down, we had this massive influx of calls and emails for people trying to source cans that perhaps had never put their product in these cans before. We're trying to find solutions to anybody and everybody that needs cans. Something locally that we've been able to do is allow local Texas beverage makers to bring kegs to us, drop them at our dock, we sanitize the kegs, put the beer or product from the kegs into cans, and at the end of the day they'll come pick those cans up so they can sell them to go. Certainly at the onset of something like this, there's always the, we saw it with toilet paper, panic buying, right? And I, that happens with cans too. So we immediately instituted some order maximums, some frequency requirements so that people couldn't come in and buy everything they could possibly get their hands on, which has allowed us to service a lot more customers and get them what they need as they need it instead of it sitting in a facility somewhere unused. Our team has done an incredible job of working overtime, extra hours, weekends, really just about killing themselves to help us get to a point where we were caught up. It's a lot of work, but I think they're understanding that this is you know, bigger than just what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. This isn't just about selling cans. This is what's keeping the lights on for a lot of our customers right now. They don't have any revenue if they don't have cans. We're really supporting so many local businesses around the country has helped everybody push through.